Good morning, y'all. I'm blessed to wake up. <laughs> Thank you, Lord, for waking me up another day. But I do miss my view. <laughs> That room was so nice, y'all. But this Airbnb is cute. It's very, it's very quaint and comfortable. I was going to get up early this morning and make my way. I have a three and a half hour drive to the next city, to La Fortuna, Arenal, where the volcano and all that is. Um, that's my next stop. And I wanted to wake up early so I could go do like the volcano. Um... Well, do one of the tours like in the area of the volcano where you get to see the volcano I guess pretty good but I'm tired <laughs> like sis is tired after that hike yesterday yeah it, um, it wore me out pretty well so I'm gonna just kind of chill lay here in bed for a minute get up eventually it's early too it's like Maybe it's 6 now. I think I've been up since like 5.30. Oh, yeah, it's 5.57. So, I don't have to check out of here until 11. Um, and I can't check in to my next spot until 2. So, you know, it gives me time to make that drive. So, I'll probably leave like around 9, 10. Because I can't just lay here all day. That's for sure. Um... And then I'll get there and then I'll do the hot springs tonight. Um, I bought a day pass at a hotel that I can't remember the name of right now. Of course, I'll let y'all know later. Um, y'all are just going to come along with me anyway. Um, bought a day pass for, for that. So that day pass lasts from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. And mine included dinner. So once I just check into the Airbnb there... Then I'll probably just um, head directly to that hotel to just enjoy the hot springs there. It's just, you know, relaxing or whatever. So that's the plan. And then the next morning, I will probably wake up and go do the um, volcano sightseeing stuff. Because the last day, I don't know how far the next Airbnb is from that. But I don't really think I have too much big planned for... Um, for that area that area is Guancaste Guanacaste I know I'm saying it all kind of wrong or Tamarindo Beach it's like another one of the like more popular like party beachy cities so it's I guess it's going to be pretty similar to to here in Hako um but yeah that might be really the only day that I actually just go like chill by the beach because I haven't done that yet um but a beach is a beach, so <laughs> whatever. Uh, my body hurts from that from uh, that hike yesterday. No lie. I should have got my massage probably today. Shoot, maybe I'll get another one tomorrow. Maybe that um, hotel will have one. So, or today, tomorrow, whatever. Anyways, I think we're going to go back to sleep. All right, y'all. I'm up. Here's today's Costa Rica outfit. Um, the shirt, Zara, biker shorts, Zara, sandals, Zara, <laughs> Alexia, God. <laughs> uh, I decided to do a little face today. Um, why? I don't know. But yeah, it's 10 21 now. I have to be checked out of here by 11. So I did take that nap. Timing worked out perfectly. Took a nice little shower. Oh, they asked me to turn off the air condition and all lights. So let me follow the Airbnb rules. And let's hit the road. We have a three hour and 21 minute drive to um, La Fortuna. And I need to stop and get some food, so let's go. Driving through the Costa Rica winding roads people legit be on them bikes pumping it y'all but the roads aren't bad they're nicely paved they're just really narrow and white you can never see a car coming <laughs> 
this is it for about, I guess, another, I don't know, like, one GPS is saying one thing and the other saying another, so I'm going to give myself about another three hours or so. Oh, uh, maybe a little less. I've been driving longer than that, but I do need to still stop and get some food. All right, it's time to gas up, y'all. This car is really, really good on gas because I'm just now getting to a half a tank of gas. And I've been doing some driving for a minute. So that's from when I picked up the car until now. So, um, yeah. You don't pump your own gas. They come and then the guy gun you pay and then they pump and then you go. So we are about an hour and a half away from our destination. I still haven't gotten any food because it just took me to a city, a major city. I didn't really want to stop in all the hustle and bustle of the city. So, yeah. Thank you. Gracias. Or Vida. Lunchtime, y'all. It's steak and shrimps with vegetables and like an Alfredo sauce. Sounds yummy, looks yummy. Let's see. Amen. This is tasty Alfredo sauce. Mm, it's sweet. Well, not bad. This is a big meal. I wasn't expecting it to be so large. <laughs> I was gonna order fried shrimp, but I was like, yeah, I'm gonna try something different. Mm -hmm. Not mad at that. This is what, cauliflower? Okay, it's good, it's edible, time to enjoy. Okay y'all, lunch is over, nice little pit stop. So we got this hour and a half to go. Um, the skies are starting to look a little, I, 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 uh, these roads, <laughs> backing out literally into the major road. Um, <clears throat> lucky it's not like, luckily there's not a lot of people on the roads but skies are starting to look a little overcasty so it's probably about to start raining um my eta says i'll be there at 3 p.m it's 1 32 now let's roll i'm looking nice and chocolatey mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> y'all i absolutely hate these bridges i'll be praying like praying <laughs> going over these bridges it just make my nerves bad. I need something under my feet. Whew, thank God I know how to swim. <laughs> Let me roll the window down so I can at least get out. <laughs> oh God forbid. Uh. All right. Something's on my face. We've made it to La Fortuna. This is actually really nice. It's like a, a little mini resort. I'll show y'all the outside when we're leaving, but this is the room. So it has a king size bed, then it has a little twin bed, television, radio, windows that I'm about to close because I am about to take a little siesta here. Um, then back here is where you find the closets and the restroom. So you got a shower and then your toilet. And me. Get my little fupa. Okay, okay. Decent closets, although I, I will not be unpacking. So yeah, honestly, y'all, I'm a little, it's a little tired from the drive. So I'm probably gonna take a quick nap. And then, oh, they got cable here. <laughs> oh. Um, do not disturb. And then um, the place where I have uh, the day pass for Tapacom Thermal Resort and Spa is the name of it. Um, I think I told y'all earlier, have that until 10 p.m. And then I have, oh crap, 
I have dinner. My dinner reservations were for a certain time. So I definitely need to get there before that. Um, it's 3.16 now. It take me about 15 minutes to get there. So uh, I'll probably just really relax, just maybe for like 45 minutes and get up and um, head over that way for like 4.30ish. Okay, y'all, a little snooze is over. So this is the outside of my room. I'm in Gasper. Got a little swing there, some nice vegetation. Oh, look, they have a, um, a hammock on this side. I didn't even see that. Y'all know I love a good hammock. And then back here is a little kitchen to use if I was cooking, I guess. They have a refrigerator, dining table, microwave, espresso, a grill, two, um, two top two burner cooking little stove and some dishes. So, now that I'm only here for one night, but it's nice. They have a pool and a jacuzzi up and through here somewhere. This this property is actually pretty big. Um, and my car is right here. I have like an actual key to get in the door. And they gave me a little badge because it's like a little garage door to get into the property. So I have to use that. Um, when I'm trying to come and go. So, it's time to go do the hot springs. I don't know if I was looking forward to this more or the, um, I do the key, or the sloths. But either way, hopefully everything goes smoothly when I get there. I'll be able to say, yay, I got to do them both. And then... Hopefully, maybe in the morning, I'll still get up and go. Um, after I check out here, go do the 10 bridges thing. I did look, though, yesterday, and my other Airbnb tomorrow is another three-hour drive. I did not realize. The airport, Liberia Airport, is two and a half hours away from here. Um, but my Airbnb is past the airport. Um, so, it's like another three and a half hour drive, but it's an hour away from Liberia Airport. So I'm still trying to decide what I want to do about that. If I'm going to like cancel that Airbnb and try to find something closer. So I just don't know if I have another three and a half hour drive in me, honestly. Um, but it's, I don't know. I don't know if there's just a lot of availability either. I don't know how I'm going to back up out of here. So let me stop talking and figure this out. <laughs> We've made it into the hot springs. So it's $85 for a day pass. And that either includes lunch or dinner. Or you could do a night pass for $70. But I think night is only 6 to 10. And I don't think that includes dinner. Or you could do an all day pass. And I think that comes with breakfast, lunch, dinner. And, um,. I gotta put my mask on to go into the, the locker room. That includes breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and all day, 10 to 10. Oh, that's just the bathroom. Yeah. All right, so let's see. It's really hot. Not that I didn't think it wasn't gonna be hot, but I thought it was gonna be like lukewarm. Oh, and it's like lots of time. Made my way all the way in here, y'all. It feels really good. It feels like a sauna. It's nice, but natural. Uh, so pretty here. So pretty here. So cute, y'all. They have all, it's like a little garden. And they have all these different little pool sections with the the hot spring water running through. So, like I was just over here at the Shangri-La garden. Pool is like a room. Just gonna keep walking and get lost. <laughs> well, not really. But it feels good. Yep, I'm glad I chose to do this today just to relax a little bit. Oh, okay. 
okay, nowhere to go there. <laughs> um, I really do think I'm gonna wake up in the morning though and um, do the bridges and then make the drive. Ooh, next time, I need a map a little bit better. Oh, it's good. It's good. This has a nice kick. <laughs> oh, it's dark. We need some better lighting. So it's dinner time. The menu is limited. It's like a preset menu. And you have the option to pick from like a couple of things. Thank you. So I got some um, sea bass ceviche for my appetizer. Here it is, some plantain, yummy. Took myself back to America and got a hamburger because I was craving carbs. Good morning. <laughs> this is the latest day that I've slept in since I've been here. I've been awake since like 5.30, which 6.30. Central time. It's now 7 17 because I have been changing plans, y'all. I'm a little sad. Actually, a lot of sad, but whatever. Um, I was supposed to be heading to Liberia, as I told y'all originally, but I started checking the flight loads because, you know, flight attendant, we non revving And um, the flight loads were not looking good flying out of Liberia for tomorrow, Saturday. So. Um, I chose to change my flight to fly out of San Jose because they have a lot more available seating. So I went ahead and canceled my Airbnb that I was supposed to be heading to today and quickly found another one in San Jose for tonight. Um, which actually it's kind of working out because I was having regrets that I didn't stop and spend time in San Jose the first day. Um, cause that is the capital of the city and you know, you just, you, you kind of want to go out there and feel the culture and learn the culture and shop. And I didn't get to do that. So now I do get to do that, but I was still really wanting to do the hanging bridges, um, tour at Mystico Park, um, which is like here in this area that I'm at right now and I tried to book it last night and it declined my booking I guess they're just fully booked and I'm sure they have like a maximum amount of people per time slots you know COVID so I tried to do it for 9 a.m. and then they had one available for 1 p.m. and I couldn't get either of them so that's what I'm actually sad about I'm still like maybe I should try to just roll up there and see if they'll let me in but I'm not going to do that. Um, I just booked a walking tour in San Jose to just learn about the culture and things like that. And that actually starts at, I think, 11. Ooh. Excuse me. 11.30. And it's going to take me about two and a half hours to drive that way. Which is a shorter drive than I was intending to do today. It was going to take me about... Um, almost four hours to get to my next spot. So that's a little bit of a benefit with this change that I've had to make. So I need to get up. It's raining. And I was just looking at the weather and it doesn't look like the rain is going to stop today at all, at least in this area. So I need to get up and just get back on the road, stop and get some breakfast or something. And then make it there on time so I'll do the tour and then um, the tour ends around 2 to 30 somewhere between 2 and 3 which is perfect because then I can um, check in um, at my Airbnb starting at 3 p.m. and then yeah it, it is that'll pretty much be it you know we'll see and head to the airport tomorrow and my hair looks crazy <laughs> good news good news we're going to the volcano to the mystical bridges the Whatever, to the park with the bridges where I can see the volcano and look at some more animals. So I was, I emailed, I called via tour. They're like a, an international like tour company where you could buy through them. I was calling directly toll free to the park itself and they weren't answering. So I decided to just go ahead 
and pay the fees to just call the direct number. They were like, you're gonna be charged, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, fine. And they answered, because they weren't answering the toll-free number at first. And I was like, is the toy still available? She's like, yes. <laughs> what? Because you keep denying me online. So I'm so happy, so happy. So I quickly, quickly <laughs> canceled my reservation for that walking toy in San Jose. It was only $23, but they refunded me because I was willing to take that loss because I really wanted to see the volcano. So now I'm all up and happy and dancing around. So time to get dressed, pack it up, make my way there. And we're out of here. <laughs> Say bye-bye. I'm going to turn the people's lights off. <laughs> you know, save on electricity. I think I turned, yes, I turned off the air conditioner because I had it blowing with me here last night, okay? Got a little chilly. Almost forgot to give y'all a little outfit. This is what we're going to go hike at the volcano do the 10 bridges in this is a swimsuit leggings from amazon raincoat from zara adidas times ivy park fanny pack and the most comfortable tennies i own <laughs> okay Julio, my tour guide. Looking at the mass of two now. Can you see that? It's two trees in one. And then, like another tree grew around a first tree. And it's big. This tree, y'all. It's called a broccoli tree. In the rainforest, as it rains. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Crossing bridge number two. I don't think I told y'all. Well, no, I did tell y'all yesterday. The bridges make my nerves bad. But here I am, constantly in the tears. <laughs> okay. 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 Where's that? Where? Eight more bridges to go. <laughs> Made it to the highest bridge, y'all. Wow. Way too high for me to even want to look down. I'll let y'all look. Look, look, slow turn. Down. Down. I'm legit not even looking. And I think this is the longest one, too. Oh, y'all, my, I just, breathe, Alexia, breathe. Yep, I just got off of that one. Lord. Found another waterfall. Waterfalls are everywhere. The Niagara Falls, the mist all the time. And in the winter time, it freezes. So the whole area is on the fall is solid ice. Really? And it looks like an ice city. I mean, every the sea the sign. I haven't been to Niagara yet. Sounds like I gotta go. I love it. Bridge number four. Definitely not a survival. I thought it was 10 bridges, but it's only six, which is good. No, you can't, no. The guy in front of me is like, you can't, def you can't survive this long. No, we can't. So let's, let's keep it moving, let's keep it moving. <laughs> One vlog. Oh, we're making it all. Yo, I met other YouTubers. Jacob, Jenny, what's the channel That's name? our handle, it's okay. Jacob, Jacob and, and Jenny. Jenny. <laughs> Go subscribe. Woo! <laughs> Last bridge. Oh, and it's shaking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Woo. A little low tight, a little slow tight, a little low tight. So this is, this is as close as I can get to the volcano, but I'm good with it. Like, nice. All right, on the road again. The bridge tour was fun. I 
thought I would have been able to see the volcano a little bit more because that was the whole purpose of me doing this. But the bridges were actually really fun. Um, so that's okay because I'll be coming back to Costa Rica to go to the Caribbean side. So I'll probably start off on the Liberia side, go to Guancaste, um, Tamarindo, the things that I didn't get to see this time and then head to the Caribbean side next time. That's the plan. Um, but as of right now, while we're still here, we're about to go grab some food. Um, somebody told me about a taco spot um, back where I left, La Fortuna. So I have to go back that direction to get to San Jose. So I'm gonna stop there and then make the drive to San Jose. Let's go, y'all. Noted to Spectacular Cantina. They're known for their tacos. So I ordered some tacos, churros. And I'm tired. I'm ready to get it to San Jose, wash my body off, take a bath, take a nap. All right, taco time. I demolished my corn. I got me some authentic Coca-Cola from Costa Rica. Okay, let's taste the bites. They're really hot. Front leg. Fresh. That's it right there. <laughs> Yep, amazing, amazing. Popped into one of these stores here on the strip and got me some natural honey from Guancaste. I didn't get to go there. And I got a cute little keychain. So, we're starting to shop. I think I'm officially in Costa Rica traffic because Lord, it's all the, the semi 18-wheelers, whatever these trucks, semi-trucks, 18-wheelers, and this 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 highway that I'm on is, is going from two lane to one lane. So they got two, we got one, and then it swaps. We got two, they got one, and it's nothing but big old trucks, and I'm just ready to get there. It's 4.49. I still have 48 minutes to go, and I'm stuck. <laughs> Get me back to Texas with six lane highways. <laughs> All right, made it to my last Airbnb. My least favorite one of them all. Um, just location is literally, like literally smack in the middle of downtown, which is good, you know, for being able to get to things quickly. Um, but saying as I'm only we are you going to spend the night? Probably going to try to wake up early in the morning and go to Central Market. And I think that's where they said I can do souvenir shopping and things like that. And then it'll be time for me to head on out of here. Oh, look. It's a whole tub. <laughs> so, tub. And then we have, I guess that would be my closet, pedestal sink, toilet, shower, bedroom, television, and then a little kitchenette here, sitting area, and I just locked the door and I'm not about to open it. And then this is like a little courtyard outside and other rooms. According to Liz, the hostess, this is the penthouse suite, y'all. <laughs> when she said that, I was like, what? <laughs> oh, anyways, time to shower and food and relax. That shower felt amazing. I was gonna go out and get um, food but I don't wanna go outside and get outside on me again. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can order some Uber Eats or just something. I wanna eat something good, but I also just wanna, uh -oh. but I also just wanna eat and go to sleep. And 
Ooh, maybe I ordered some pizza. How American is that? <laughs> Order pizza? But <laughs> that's just how I'm feeling, y'all. Pizza edition. I forgot I had brought my house shoes and I haven't even worn them. Let me put them on. They don't exactly match my favorite leopard PJs. But they're gonna have to work. Oh, let me show y'all what I bought. Hopefully, hopefully I can find good places pretty quickly tomorrow. My mother requested something very specific. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to find it. There's this, there's this doll that I bought. There's this little. I don't even know what it's made out of, but it's like a little doll that I bought her in Cuba. It's like made out of stone or whatever. And it had like the dress the doll had on was like painted in the Cuban flag. It was really, really, really cute. She's like, can you bring me one of these, but from Costa Rica? And I'm like, it's just like that. It's really specific <laughs> to one. <laughs> like, you know? So I need to go out and try to find her something as close to that as possible. And then I got me some honey. So I don't know if wherever y'all live, but in Texas, or definitely in Houston, on the side of the streets, a lot of the time you can find um, people selling um, local honey. So it's just like, you know, pure honey, none of that extra stuff. So this one is just from, what did I say? Natural raw honey. Um, pure, oh, it says Pure Vita. Um, so yeah, have to make sure I pack this up nice and good tomorrow and take it back home with me. That's why I brought a check bag. You know, usually I, I never travel with check bags ever since my luggage got lost in Paris that one time. <laughs> hey, that was a really good vacation too, man. I don't know. I don't know which one is best, but Paris was good for different reasons, though. Beyonce, um, they won the World Cup. We got to see that all of that. Y'all go watch my Paris vlog if you haven't seen that. And then I bought this cute little keychain. Of course, it's a letter A, and those are natural, real flowers in there, and there's like resin poured over it. So you know, just really wanting to support. The culture here so i thought that was cute right, like you can't ever go wrong with a keychain every you always need a keychain so that's that so i sat on uber eats for about 30 minutes trying to decide what i wanted to eat y'all if um you ever travel and you don't know the language and the menu is not in english if you download google translate I've, i know i've showed y'all this before but <laughs> newbies if you download Google Translate, there you can literally just like scan the page, like just put the camera over the page on the Google Translate app and it will translate everything for you, written. So uh, I came downstairs, we, oh, my God, I was saying Uber Eats. <laughs> I be getting so sidetracked. Uber Eats um, was at my cart ready to check out and then they told me they had no delivery drivers in the area. So, there's this little restaurant attached to the condo. It's a Peruvian restaurant. I just ordered some food here and a glass of wine that is hitting my soul. Yes, Lord. I'm gonna eat and then go to bed. Good morning. Good morning. Today is the end. We go back to the United States of America today. Um, it's like 5.45 a.m sun bright y'all <laughs> like, uh, the sun is bright and shiny and um i popped up i heard a car honk and i just popped up out of my sleep anyways the central marketplace doesn't open until eight um and I, honestly i was trying to drop the rental car off about 10 and just start making my way to the airport um, I don't have a lot of driving to do today. <laughs> Hallelujah. 
Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna relax for like a, just a little bit longer. So it's like a 15 minute walk away. I have not decided if I'm gonna walk there or try to drive over there. Um, I'm thinking walking just cause, just cause this is, you know, downtown. I don't know what the parking, the street parking would be like over there. If, you know, I don't know. And I don't want to have to be looping around trying to find anywhere to park. So I'll probably pack up my bag. Um, just probably check out of here, put my suitcase and stuff in the car and then just walk over there and do a little shopping and walk back to the car and then dip, 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 dip. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. All right, y'all, I'm packing up. I never use my packing cubes, but they definitely come in handy when you're bringing a lot of stuff because they truly do just like help save space, especially if you're not like a pro packer. Um, I just emptied two of them out to put my dirty clothes in those so just in case i do get a little crazy when i go shopping i can have a little space to put those things and then we still got this stuff and shoes i brought heels just in case but uh they weren't necessary <laughs> yeah i just found a whole sliding door with a rooftop oh my god oh my gosh Look at that. Wow. Wow. Feels nice up here. You know, the Airbnb did say it had a rooftop, but I wasn't <laughs> tired. Okay. This is nice, though. Okay. It was covered. I just thought it was another window because it was um, covered with the, the shade. Hmm, okay. Give the Airbnb like an extra 0.5 rating. <laughs> so I have all these colones. Ah! And I, <laughs> I don't know how much this is. I need to sit here and try to add this up. Um... So I can spend it. I'm gonna keep one of them, probably the five milli, as a you know, just a, a keepsake. Cause why isn't U.S. dollars this exciting to look at? <laughs> like these look so cool. Like look at that. And we got born Dolo green money. Anyways, I'm all packed up. I got my flying gear on: leggings, t-shirt, sneakers. We ready to roll, y'all. Let's roll. Honestly, it's a little confusing, right? Because it says 5-M-I-L, which to me, that means million. But then this has a 5,000 up here. Um, I'm going to go with 1,000. So I just counted it up, and I think this is $30. $30, y'all. Shoot. Yeah, I'm about to go shop for this money. That ain't, that ain't money to be wasted. <laughs> so, y'all, this is the courtyard of my... Airbnb has these different rooms. Uh -oh. Let me see if I can peekaboo. Yeah, I really could have used one of these, just basic, that was on the first floor. <laughs> but hey. I don't know if they're all Airbnbs over here. I literally step out the door, and here we are. Here we are. Let me go down this way. So I made it to Central Market. Took me a little minute to find some parking. I probably could have just really walked from where I was. Cause neither here, there, here nor there now. I did Google and I found a Zara, but it doesn't open until 10. And I can't really risk it. Cause y'all know, I'll be in Zara all day long. I'm trying to like be at the airport and checked in by 10. I mean, dropping off the car by 10. Okay, came to Central Market. They definitely don't have the doll my mother is looking for, but I'm gonna get this cute little cup for myself and they're gonna engrave my name on the back, like so. 
But the kind lady here spoke a little bit of English and I showed her what I was looking for. So she's sending me to a different market while they engraves. Hopefully I can find something similar for mother. <laughs> got to show y'all before I got it all wrapped up, but this is the closest that I could find to the little statue. It doesn't have like the flag or whatever, but it's a woman and it has curves and it's cute. So she better appreciate it. Okay, I got everything I need. Something for me, something for mom something for Andre, something for stepdaddy. Now, so I'm gonna head back to the car. I'm still very tempted to go to Zara. Y'all, Zara. Zara, Zara, Zara. We are literally, can I park anywhere 15 minutes past them? 15 minutes, 15 minutes. Um, we're gonna be in and out, in and freaking out. Oh my god, I'm so excited. You have read. So, I'm at the mall, Multi Plaza. Wait, can I not go in? Or you gotta wash your hands. Bought a few goodies. I love denim, jeans, cute little shirt. This necklace that I was looking for in the US. And my favorite Zara, can find it, found it. I could have spent way more time in Zara. <laughs> I'm at the airport, dropped my bag off, about to go through security. It's 11.47, we don't start boarding until like two hours from now. But you know what, better to be early then late, right? Right. All right, y'all, made it to the gate. Ooh, baby on the loose. Um, of course, I stopped and bought goodies in the airport as well. I bought a pillow because all of a sudden, first class went from six available seats to none. So, <laughs> I gotta get comfortable because your girl plans on sleeping good. Um, this is real childish of me, but <laughs> I bought a sloth. It has Velcro on his feet and his hands. So I'm gonna dangle that somewhere from my room. That's for me, yes. I like teddy bears. <laughs> what else did I get? Oh, and I bought this as well. It's a book of like all the national parks here in Costa Rica with animals and all of that stuff. So yeah, oh, and some chocolate. Chocolate. Oh wait, oh, I bought more stuff than I realized. Let me throw this away. What else? Yes, and I bought this um, gold bracelet. Y'all know I have a lot of these. It says Pura Vida on there. So, add that to my collection of bangles like this. And, oh, and of course, some um, pure white Hennessy. Made it back to the United States of America. Flight got in a little late, you know, taxi. But I'm actually on time. <laughs> But clearly, my lashes decided to stay in Costa Rica. <laughs> That's why they're only for like travel occasions only. Anyways, y'all, not gonna drag y'all along anymore. I really hope you all enjoyed those seven days in Costa Rica. As always, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. See y'all next time.